Hello, Morris Nima here. Welcome to this presentation. Today we are going to talk briefly on how to document a drawing in Tecla structure. Documenting a drawing in Tecla structure here I mean generating a 2D drawing from a 3D model for approval, submittal and uh, production. We will go straight to generating the 2D drawing. We'll go to drawing and reports. Under drawing and reports, we have create drawings. We'll click that on that drop down arrow. We'll come to GA drawing. Under GA drawing, we have several views here. We have grid one, we have grid two, we have grid three, all the way to the very top of the pitch, 13 meters high. Now, we'll, we, we, we want to generate this a plan, uh, we want to generate a plan at zero, zero level and generate our elevation from that layout. We'll go ahead and, gen and, gen and create. There we are, cancel that. Once you've done that, come to drawing list under drawing and reports. Click the drawing list. You can maximize that and see whatever is written there. The drawing that we've just generated it has been recorded here, created on this date, this month, this year, modified none, revision none, size of the paper is that, type of the drawing is a general arrangement, name the standard. Now we go ahead and double click on that, minimize that. Our plan has been gener generated at zero zero level. Now you can see it's way out of the of the title block. I mean the framing of the title block. Now to make it fit inside, we'll change the scale. Changing the scale, just go and click along this line, click properties, come to layout. Not properly, not the best way. Let's double click on that. Once you, you double click on on the framing, the outer framing of the of the of the plan, this dialog box will pop up. Under this, attribute one attribute 2. Under attribute 1, we have scale. Under view, change this scale to 2. I'll, I'll give it 150. Make it fit inside our title block. Modify. Apply OK. drag it to where you can see it clearly. There we are. This is our plan. This is a top view. Out of this plan you can do some some measurements by going to dimensioning. Click that. Want to get some measurement from this end. This end. Escape that. Take vertical. That end. This end. There you are.
Let's zoom it closer. Click there. Come and click where you started. Click it there, right click, interrupt. The measurement is there. You can also use that. Use the free dimension. Zoom closer. Click on that. Click there. Click there. And here. And go back where you started from. You started everything here. Click on that and right click to end that command. There you are. You can drag it to that point. Drag it. Put it there. Right click. Click. Put it there. There you are. You can change this by double clicking on the on the dimension. That this dimensions property will appear. You can change the color to whatever you want. You can change the text. You can change the line color. You can change the size of the arrow. All that. And modify apply. This hasn't changed. Appearance that. Apply. Okay, there you are. You can also change the text by clicking under font. Under font, you can pick whichever text or font type you want. We'll pick Bookman old style, accept it, modify, apply, okay, it has changed, there you are. Now we want an elevation of this, we will go to views, under views, we will go to section view, under section view, we will section our drawing like this you want to view it from this direction click that there you are let's drag it closer here Let's pull this up. It's taking a bit longer. Pull it up again. There you are. Okay, here we are. We can scale it bigger. Hundred. Modify. It's taking longer, longer, and longer. Okay. Okay, here we are. 
Now we have our site, our, our our first elevation. We can also generate this. Generate that. So generate that. There we are. Just drag it. The place you can easily have a look at it. Scale it down. Take it back to 150. Apply. Okay. Click on this corner, drag it up, place it there. There we are. Drag this also down. There you are. Click on the screen. You can see we have our steel bar. We have our grouting is there. And how look like dimensioning a grout. Maybe there. That was the th that was thickness of the plate. Grouting was fifty. Let's take it there. The column height. was that click on the text and hold drag there you are fantastic okay you can cl also click on the steel bar add part mark Yeah, what you are to give you all the details regarding that steel member. But at the moment, we don't need that. Here we are. Click that. Yeah. Let's see start, click that and no, not right. Horizontal that 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 and this. Bring it back here. I'll click disable the command. Click, hold, drag, put it there. Okay, today we will wind up here. And thanks for watching our video. Thanks once again.